Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this Nexus 6P with me and in this uh, video, I'll share some of the apps that I use on my Android devices to enhance its functionality. And uh, this is not specific to Nexus uh, 5X or Nexus 6P. Uh, this should work with most Android devices. So let's start it. And the first app that I use, and this is useful for people who are running stock Android, for example, Motorola phones and even Nexus phones. The default uh, with Marshmallow, uh, Google has removed the gallery app. Now you have to actually use Google Photos. Uh, but we have a third party app uh, for gallery that is known as Quick Pick. And as you can see, this works actually very well and it's very fast. Uh, so you can use this if you don't like the default, uh, what do you say, Google Photos all, always or your gallery app. So this works very well and it's a free app that is known as Quick Pick. Uh, next is a uh, application uh, that I have also used earlier and I have also talked about it earlier. And this is for uh, actually LED notification light. This Nexus 6P also has a physical LED notification light over here. You can enable it from settings, but uh, the default functionality is very limited. But if you install this third party app that is known as Lightflow, you can control it a lot. For example, if you go to the settings and uh, notification settings, here you can customize it for your calendars, charts, battery gmail whatsapp and stuff so and you can also change the color for example this nexus 6p uh, led light is multicolored. so for example for whatsapp as you can see i've changed the color if i get an sms it comes in big miss called red so you can use this to actually customize the led notification uh, there is a free version and a paid version i'm using the paid version but even the free version works very well and the name of the app is a uh, light flow and uh, the next uh, app that i use a lot on many Android phones is known as a push bullet is useful for people who actually use also a computer for example I use a computer when I'm working and if you enable push bullet you have to install this app and also install a companion app on your computer now if I get any notification on my phone that automatically will show up on my computer I'll actually try to make a dedicated video regarding push bullet if you guys are interested and it also pushes whatsapp apps and you can directly reply from your computer and it works actually very well so I use it to actually uh, get SMSs, uh, reply to WhatsApp stuff. Uh, so that is Push Bullet, a very useful app, I would say. And the next app that I use a lot is known as Glovebox. Let me actually show you, for example, let me open my Twitter. And if you notice, if I just swipe over here, I get this. And this is fully customizable. And this is Glovebox. And so this way I can quickly jump between the apps that I use frequently. As you can see, it is really quick. And I have also put a home button over here so I can always go uh, via that. So this is enabled via uh, glove box. So you can customize the apps that you would like uh, and stuff and you can just move around and that works very well. So this is glove box, a very nifty utility, I would say. So you can just this is a very quick way to just jump between the apps and I really like it and it works very well on Android devices. Next is Adroid. Again, I won't talk a lot about Adroid and uh, it's very simple. For example, you don't have to actually physically connect your phone to a computer and you see this IP, you just enter this IP on your computer and if you are on the same network, you can wirelessly move around the files, put files, download stuff. So again, I use this app on almost every Android device and it works very well. Next is, uh, this is uh, an interesting app. I started using it recently. As you can see, you can see this faint line over here at the top. And this is actually my battery status. Uh, it shows that, and you can enable that using this simple app known as uh, Battery Bar. As you can see, it's a very simple app. Uh, it just shows you the battery level over here. So even if you just look at the phone like this, you get an idea how much is the battery life. Uh, again, as it's a Nexus device, as you can see, you can see the battery level over here. By default, it's not enabled. To enable that, you have to just click on this and enable system tuner settings and you would get this extra menu over here. And if you click it over here, you can enable or disable this embedded uh, battery meter. So that also works. Next application again, I think so this is a very popular application and uh, this is known as uh, cam scanner. And let's say if you want to scan some stuff or whatever, let's say like, I have this document that I need to scan. You can use this application and actually create a PDF document. For example, uh, let me do that. Let's use the camera. And I use this uh, a lot, I would say. Uh, I have to hit the focus, it didn't come properly. So let's use the camera again and tap to focus, let it focus correctly. 
and it works very well with the documents i've tried it a lot and i've sent some pdf documents as you can see it automatically crops it and it's going to crop it and now i can save it as a pdf and email it to uh, whoever i would like so this also works very well and uh, this app is known as cam scanner again i also use evernote uh, i also have evernote on my computer so whatever notes i write on the computer uh, they get automatically synced to my uh, phone or whatever i write on the phone gets automatically synced to the uh, what do you say computer and um, again uh, this is one more app and this is sort of a paid app this is known as power amp this is a music player uh, and by default with Android Marshmallow, you don't get the equalizer option. So if you listen to a lot of music, yes, I know it's a paid app. It's just around a dollar, I think so. Uh, but it offers a lot of enhancements and the audio quality also that I was getting with this was very good. You have equalizers, as you can see, you have presets and stuff. You can even adjust the tone that is bass and treble if you would like limiter. Uh, and also the audio quality that I got with this one was very good and it's very fluid to move between the, if you just swipe like this, it just moves between the tracks so very good uh, mp3 player uh, but again it's paid it's known as power amp but again you can try it out there's a free trial for about two weeks i guess and now let's move to some of the third party camera apps again you won't be requiring this if uh, you have a very good uh, camera app like the lg g4 has that even samsung phones have very good camera software but on the nexus uh, devices and stock android devices the camera app is very basic uh, don't get me uh, wrong uh, the camera quality on this nexus 6p is very good but the camera options are very lacking so uh, if you are using an Nexus device, you can use some of these third party apps. You can uh, try this open camera, but again, that is also very basic. I had good luck with camera MX. Uh, this does offer us a lot of options. For example, the biggest thing with this camera MX is the effects that you can easily add. For example, as you can see, I can duplicate and it shows in real time. That's the advantage of this one. As you can see, you can get some weird effects and stuff and take the photographs. So uh, this app uh, that is known as, uh, what do you say, uh, uh, Camera MX is very good. I also like for general photography, I like this Camera in Go. Uh, this is the free version, that's the light. But again, even this one is actually uh, very good. Uh, you have options over here. For example, you have the stabilizer option. I can enable the image stabilizer. Uh, I can enable what do you say horizon level and uh, the quality that i was getting with this one is very good so it has a lot of manual controls that you can tinker around if you would like and it also has effects also you can play around with the effects also if you would like uh, so this is uh, another camera app that i like but uh, it's not the easiest it has actually too many options so uh, i would say it takes quite a bit of time to oh, actually understand this app so if you like to play around with your photographs and stuff you can certainly have a look at this uh, camera app uh, that is known as uh, camera in go so guys these were some of the apps that i use on my android phones to enhance my uh, experience uh, do let me know in the comment section if you have some of your favorite apps that you use to enhance your android experience i hope you found this video helpful if you found it helpful i'll appreciate if you can click the like button and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video